So as Hyun mentioned, um, I'm the business reporter for WBEZ, the NPR affiliate here in Chicago. And I'm actually a transplant to Chicago. I, I grew up in Huntsville, Alabama, where um, you might not know there aren't a lot of Korean people there, um, but there was a small community, but not enough to have a great event like this. Um, my, my parents were very uh, much in the vein of having my older brother and I become um, physicists or, or an engineer of some kind following in their footsteps, but um, they were a little disappointed that we both went in liberal arts directions. Um, but eventually, once they saw that you know, we were actually doing something with our lives, that you know, we could be successful in something that wasn't math related, and if you are going to do something math related, that's okay too. Um, they, they were more supportive and realized that you know, that's, when we have a goal, when we have a passion, then they can be supportive of that. So um, the, the other thing that I realized, even though my mother and I had very different career paths, um, she was a really great role model for me. I, I realized um, she was a trailblazer for me. I remember <coughs> seeing an old photo of her. Um, it was with all her coworkers in her department sometime in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, it was around Halloween. It was a group photo, and, and what stuck out to me was that she was one of two Asian people in that photo, and she was the only woman. And she was also one of two people not dressed up for Halloween. Um, and the other person was the other Asian person. <laughs> um, but that was sort of what I grew up with, with her, and it really stuck with me. It made me realize that I shouldn't feel limited in what I'm going after, in my goals. So fast forward a few years later, um, I graduated from the University of Illinois, as Hyun mentioned, go Illini, um, with a degree in journalism. Uh, I, I kind of wandered a little bit after graduating, kind of took whatever job became available to me, and that included working at a very generic publishing company where I acquired um, art and text for things that you know, cheesy things like greeting cards and scrapbooks. Not the most fulfilling job, but um, it wasn't a horrible career move at the time either because I felt that it gave me time to think things through um, while remaining financially independent. And during that time, I would drive around Chicago listening to public radio, and I really fell in love with it. And I, and I said to myself, this is what I want to do and I'm gonna make that happen. I'm gonna not be in generic publishing anymore and I'm gonna make this my career. So it, it took some sacrifice and it, and it was a risk. I had to check my stomach every now and then and make sure this is what I wanted to do. I had to first start off at the bottom with an unpaid internship, which was scary, but it worked out. I mean, it wasn't something that every day is gonna be a great day. You know, there are gonna be times where you feel you know, maybe you made the worst decision, but you have to try it out. You have to start with this idea, something that, that you feel is a spark in you, and then try it out and see if it, it's something that you really do want to do. Um, I stuck around there. They eventually hired me after they realized I was not going anywhere. Um, and four years into it, I'm, I'm full-time staff now, and I am the business reporter there. and. I feel very fortunate to um, to have started off with something that um, you know was not just given to me, but realizing that this is something that is my passion, and now it's it's my career. Um, so that's that's kind of what you'll hear today, only a lot better and more inspiring. Um, so I want to start off with um, our panelists, who will introduce themselves, and they'll uh, tell us what's resonated with them and helped them through their careers as, as an Asian woman going through their journey. So we'll start here with, with Gina.